What's up guys? So I just posted. No, I didn't. <laughs> I said, okay, 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 What's up guys, it's Nay and I'm back with another video and I'm doing this one on my tablet but I'm a little skeptical about um, sharing this but I thought you know everybody has it once in a lifetime so why not share it you know. So this video is basically about how I had sleep paralysis when I was um like this weekend and it was it was a little crazy because this has never happened to me before. And you know, I always said like this could never happen to me because it's me. And I mean, how could it happen to me because it's me? But uh, yeah. Whoa. Oh. Okay. So basically, what had happened was I looked up on you on YouTube, and it said 90% of the time, whenever you have sleep paralysis, it's because you haven't had enough sleep. And when I had had this. Yeah, that's a lie. I had enough sleep, but I thought it was because I didn't have enough sleep. But let me just get to what what was um yeah okay. I was just trying to remember. So it was Saturday morning, and um I had woke up, and it was like it was like still kind of dim outside. Like it was getting morning, but it wasn't fully morning. And um I had just woke up. And I was looking around like I was like okay, but I, like I had the covers up on my face because I sleep because I'm I scared I'm scared of the dark so I sleep in the covers, and um, I sleep in the covers now that I'm terrified as ever because this has happened. But I um, I had the covers up over my eyes like this, and I was I was awake and I was looking and I saw something walk across my bed like twice. And it was like this little white figure thing and I was like what? So I was literally, I was like trying to reach out for it, but my hands, like my, my, I could not move my arms. I was sitting there like, why is not, why is my arm not moving? So I was, I was like, um, hello. So I, I saw it, it walked across again. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get up so I can see if my sister's awake. So I, um, I still couldn't get up. And then, like, I don't know, I kept hearing like this, this dark, I don't really want to say it, but demonic voice like I don't know what it was like I just kept hearing it and I was like what the freak is going on like I was freaking out and I was like I cannot move my body so then I guess I went back to sleep and I woke back up and then I don't know if this was part of the sleep paralysis but I woke back up and then I got up and then um I saw uh my sister and that's the thing. This is where it gets real trippy. I saw her sleeping. And when I when I had got up to like, you know, like <gasps> breathe and stuff, because I just been like stuck. Uh she was just like she just leaned up out of her bed and out of nowhere, I don't know what out of nowhere I saw a freaking um it was like this skull. Like it was like a like a uh like a skeleton skull. Like nobody, just a skull sitting in midair and I was like what the freak so then I guess I went back to sleep and woke back up and my sister wasn't even in her bed she was taking a shower so I was like so was this a dream the whole time but that's the thing I didn't even have a dream it wasn't a dream I experienced all of this and it was like crazy so I, I told my um 
my parents about it and they were like, that's not sleep paralysis. You're just a bad child. And I, I am a bad child. I mean, I do stupid stuff all the time. I'm not about to sit here and deny it. I am a very disobedient child. Majority of the time. But I gotta start doing better because I can't have the... I can't be experiencing stuff like this because I am very, very, very paranoid when it comes to stuff like this. So I'm, I'm just slightly freaking out because I can't even walk into my room without being terrified of the dark. And that's another thing. I walked into my room one day and it was fully daytime and there was this black thing falling behind me and I saw it. I saw it. I was not freaking out. I freaking saw it. So I turned around and it was gone. I was like, oh, heck no, Nene. You got to start doing better because, um... You got the demons on your trail. That's not good. So that was my experience with sleep paralysis. Um, and that's another strange thing. I usually sleep on my belly. And um, this isn't the first. I know I said this is the first time I had sleep paralysis. But this isn't the first time I've had it before. And that's when I was sleeping on my belly. But this time I was actually sleeping on my back. So I thought that was a little weird. I was like, that's a little weird. Like, um, how... I thought it only happens when you sleep not on your back but on your belly so that was a little weird but um I haven't had it since I, I kind of not I try to keep myself awake but I eventually end up falling asleep but I'm terrified that it's gonna happen again and this time I might not wake up so yeah that's my little experience with sleep paralysis um if you've ever had sleep paralysis just um comment below your experience because I would love to read it and that's another thing, I read creepy stuff at night, knowing I gotta go to sleep. And every time I try to go to sleep, I have to go to the bathroom. And it's like, right after I done read some creepy stuff, so it's just like, <laughs> it's just not helping me at all. But make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you comment and subscribe and like it. Oh, duh, thumbs up and like it, same thing. But make sure you share it to, um, so I gotta say, follow me on all my social medias because I have it in my Instagram bio. If you do not know my social medias, just go to my Instagram and you will see like the little story and it has all my social media stuff in it. But um, yeah.